At the Sondalani Game Lodge in Zimbabwe, Africa, visitors spend their days on safari and their nights in luxurious surroundings. It's a unique resort where the wild animals are accustomed to human visitors. TV producer Johan Badenhorst is here with a crew shooting a documentary. A game warden takes Johan's team to videotape what seems like a sociable leopard. A young female who's been raised in captivity and fed by humans her entire life. The leopard actually enjoyed being petted. Uh, the leopard was purring like a cat when I scratched it. She's never had to kill for food. And as Johan pets her through a fence, two other members of his team step into her enclosure. Lawrence Human, the videographer shooting these pictures, admits they all completely misread the feline signals. The leopard was playful, and it really was like a little kitten. And I think that it lulled us into a false sense of security. As the TV crew stands unprotected just a few feet away, the leopard rubs against a wooden post. It seems as though there was absolutely nothing wrong. The animal was walking around, Lorenz was filming it. She comes over and starts playing with one of the men's shoes. She's so rough, she makes the man groan. But it walked off again and so on, and we didn't expect that uh, anything uh, was going to happen. The cat circles the men. It paws at Ray Jans von Rendsburg, then suddenly grabs him by the shoulder and bites. The leopard attacks just as she would in the wild. First, she uses her deadly front claws to rip into Ray's flesh, then her hind claws to climb. She goes for his neck, where her canine teeth can rip open his carotid artery or sever his spinal cord. Lorenz, the cameraman, kicks the leopard. But it was a reflex action. And once I've kicked it, it moved off into the bushes. The leopard looks stunned, like a house cat that's been scolded with a broom. Ray is still standing, but he's badly injured. He winds up with 47 stitches on his shoulder, neck, and head. He knows he owes his life to quick thinking by Lorenz. If it wasn't for Lorenz that came to my aid and kicked this leopard, there is a good chance that I wouldn't be sitting here today. The other thing that saved him, he says, was a crucial move he made when the cat climbed on him. It came up and it went for my neck. And I knew this is one part of my body that I must protect at all costs. Right here, she sinks one tooth into his neck. If she rips an artery, he'll quickly bleed out, go into shock, and die. And then I turn my head towards it. And it, and it bit me in the head. She wraps powerful paws around his head and bites down, ripping his scalp, but sparing his life. 